Now, a group of girl guides from Tilehurst have been spending the afternoon at the Houses of Parliament picking up an award for the work they've done raising awareness about the dangers of loan sharks. Yes, loan sharks. Consumer Affairs Minister Joe Swinson spoke to BBC Radio Berkshire a little earlier on and we're going to be catching up with the Minister and with the Girl Guides a little later on in the programme. We've also got news via Tony Blackburn of the Reading Festival, a fantastic show in Prospect. I mentioned the Girl Guides earlier on. Now, Consumer Affairs Minister Joe Swinson spoke to us here at BBC Radio Berkshire earlier and she said she's very happy with all the work the girls have achieved. I'm really proud of the Talhurst Guides who have taken an issue which is a affecting lots of households up and down the country and it really it's a scourge in our communities loan sharking um, and what they've done is turn that into something positive which is making sure they can spread awareness uh, increase the information available and uh, create a badge so that young women can find out more about safer ways to borrow money and the, the better ways to make your financial decisions modern sounding amazing a very modern sounding project let's speak now to the leader of the guides group kim yaka beshan i hope i've got that right kim and ellen mitchell hello girls kim and ellen hello hi now, i understand ellen if we can start with you first ellen you were a guide at the start of this project and you've been promoted to leader yeah i was um when we first started it was about a year ago and um you can't become a leader until you're about 15 or 16 so I started off as just a guide and we thought of the idea and I actually became a leader halfway through and it really changed because I helped make the challenges instead of do them and everything. So it was a lot more fun as a leader. And let's turn to you, Kim, if you Was this uh, your idea, this warning people about the dangers and warning the girls about the dangers of borrowing money at very high interest? Um, it, it was actually the, the guides themselves. I, I brought the message into guiding because I'd been working with the illegal money lending team with my actual job. And I, I wanted to know if they knew what a loan shark was and if they were aware of the matter. Um, and when they didn't, I sort of started talking about the things that have happened and what could possibly happen. Um, and they said, well, we want to do something about this. We want to raise awareness. What can we do? So we started discussing ways that we could do things and um, came up with the idea of doing a challenge badge that they could create themselves. And what kind of challenges were involved in that? What did they have to learn and know and demonstrate? Um, there are things like um, making informed decisions when buying food. So instead of just immediately going for the most expensive because they think that's the nicest, we did some um, challenges where you tried a, a luxury brand and we tried a cheap brand or a cheaper brand um, and then they were the same kind of product and just decide by taste alone, so blind tastings, if they liked it, the expensive one or the slightly cheaper one um, better. They did a lot of tasting. They really enjoyed that challenge. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ellen, what do you get up to today? What do the girls get up to today at the House of Parliament? Did they, who did they meet and what did they see? Oh, well... Um, we got to the Houses in Parliament, and I've never been before, so it was so cool. Like, it was really amazing. It is an absolutely beautiful building, <laughs> is it not? Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. And we went in the Great Hall, and um, we saw all the plaques and everything, so that was a good thing. And we also went in the gift shop, so we got a souvenir. But um, anyway, we went to the terrace, which is actually only allowed for people who are part of the House of Commons or the House of Lords, or they are guests of them. So we felt really privileged and like VIPs and everything. And we also met the minister, uh, Jo Swinson, and she gave us um, a trophy and a check for a thousand pounds as well. And we're also probably going to be in the newspaper as well. So. We felt very like VIPs and celebrities. Well, it's a fantastic day. It's the first time I've heard the House of Parliament described as really cool. Because <laughs> when you think about it, the mother of all parliaments is. Now, where's that money going, Kim? Uh, well, the girls haven't decided uh, Kim, what to do with May I say, first of all, as you're handing the phone back and forth, maybe 50 quid should go on a new phone for you. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm right. I'm teasing, of course. So, <laughs> so you're going to let the girls decide, are you? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, any money that comes in from uh, for badges and any kind of money that we have in the unit, um, we try and get the girls to make the decisions themselves because um, sometimes it would be, it'd be really easy for us to make all the decisions. But actually what we're trying to do is get the girls to, to learn from this themselves. So giving them a budget, getting them to decide what's best value for money, getting them to decide if... If it's fun, is it going to be really expensive? Or if it's fun, could you do it cheaper? That kind of thing. So, yeah, the £1,000, they've got to decide yet what they're going to do with it. Well, it's a brilliant initiative. Thank you very much. Have other um, troops expressed an interest in this, Kim? 
Yes, we've we've had a couple. We've got one up in Lincolnshire and one up in Lancaster have already um, um, started the challenges. One's already got the badges as well. Um, and obviously we're tweeting today on um, uh, go, at Girl Guiding and um, hopefully there'll be other girls around the country of any age um, from Girl Guiding that can that can take up the challenge um, and do the badge. And how long have you been in the world of guiding, Kim? Um, I've been in the world of guiding 21 years now. <laughs> you don't look old enough. I know, I know. You I, must I moisturise on an hourly basis, Kim. <laughs> You've got the moisturiser badge. That's right. I, um, we also do things about um, keeping our age uh, down low as much as possible. The girls keep us young. I bet they do. <laughs> Listen, great fun to talk to you. You're a great sport. So I'll have a wonderful bank holiday weekend. We spoke there to the leader of that group of girl guys from Childhood, Kim, I better get this right this time, Jakobishan, and also Ellen Mitchell, who was a girl guide when this project started, about loan sharking and manage, balancing, balancing the budget and managing your money. And she's now a leader as well. Kim and Ellen, and well done to those Childhood girl guides visiting the Houses of Parliament. Fantastic.